Hi everyone, welcome to Catherine's Plate. I'm Catherine. I want to thank everyone for coming to my show today. Y'all, today I am dying Easter eggs. I am so excited about this recipe. My mom passed it on to me from something she found on Facebook and it looked amazing. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have never seen Easter eggs dyed this way. So we are going to try it today. Y'all, the first thing we're going to do is hard boil our eggs. And so I'm just going to take a quick minute to show you my process in the Instant Pot for it, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and start coloring our eggs. All right, y'all ready? Let's go. Alright, so I've got my Instant Pot here. Now I've got my rack that I've laid inside of it. I've got one cup of water that I'm going to pour into the bottom. And now I'm going to place my eggs on top of the rack very carefully. We're going to go ahead and put our lid on. Lock it in place. All right, so on the knob on the back of the unit, you want to make sure that it is on sealing all the way over. All right, so we're going to push the pressure cooker. It's got five minutes. We're going to let it come up to pressure, and then we're going to let it do a natural release for five minutes. All right, we'll be back. All right, y'all, so we're at the five-minute natural release stage. So what we're going to do now is turn the knob to venting in the back here. We want all the steam to release and then we want that pin that's back here to pop down and that means it's safe to open the lid. Alright, so the pin has dropped. We're going to go ahead now and release our lid. We're going to open it up away from us. Alright, we're going to go ahead now and start removing our eggs. And then we're just going to place them in a bowl for right now. All right, y'all, I'm getting ready to decorate my Easter eggs. I have my hard-boiled eggs, which you've seen me do in the Instant Pot. Now, all right, here's my, here's my secret, Kool-Aid packets. All right, I got six different flavors here that'll give us six different colors. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. All right, I've got six cups here filled with three quarters cup of water. And, you know, you're going to need a landing place for them. So once they come out, you want to be able to put them in something. So I'm just using an egg carton right here, kind of a plastic one to kind of let them sit in there so that they can dry. All right. And then you're also you're going to need a slotted spoon to pull them out of. All right. So I'm going to take my first one here. This one is lemonade. So we're going to cut it open. Now I'm going to be using two packets of these for each cup of water. So we're going to pour this one into this cup here. And I'm going to get the one to match it. That one right here. And cut off the top. And open this up. Pour that in. There we go. I'm going to set that one right here so you can see that. And then I'm just going to stir this. That smells good, y'all. Mmm, that smells good. A little bit of sugar and we have some lemonade, right? <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to come over here and take my hard-boiled egg. I'm just going to place it on a spoon carefully so you don't splash. We don't want to splash. We're going to put our egg into it. There we go. We're going to let it sit in there for about five minutes or until we get the saturation color that we're looking for. All right. We're going to go ahead and start doing the rest of these. All right, so now I've got the pink lemonade, two packets. Now this, I just want to let y'all know, these are the unsweetened packets. You know, they're like 25 cents at Walmart. I got mine from HEB. It's a local grocery store. All right, so we're going to cut these off. Pour that in. If you have different ways of doing Easter eggs, let me know down in the comments section how you do it. Uh, stir that up. That should give us a pink egg. So we're going to go ahead. All right, got my egg here. I'm going to put it in carefully. 
flavor we have orange all right we're gonna try that one oh i love orange flavor kool-aid if y'all like kool-aid from back in the day tell me which flavor you like down there orange was my favorite tropical punch pink lemonade <laughs> I might have liked them all. Grape, oh my gosh, grape, right? Grape was a good flavor. All right, y'all, this was the orange. We're gonna see how this one does. That way we know which ones we're working with here. Oh, this one right here, right? There we go. All right, what do we got next? We're gonna do this one here, which is a lemon lime. Oh, there's our green right there. All right, I was super excited to do this. <laughs> I love coloring Easter eggs. Coloring them with my kids. They're kind of old now to color Easter eggs. I don't know. Just <laughs> they used to love it though when they were younger. All right, which flavor do we have next over here? Let's see. Oh, we got grape. Mmm, that's gonna smell good. All right, there's some grape going in. So we're gonna stir that up. I'll go ahead now and put my egg into the purple. There we go. And what do we got here? Cherry. Ooh, a nice red one. Open this up. Ooh, that's a dark red. Look at that one. That cherry smells good. My dad was a big cherry Kool-Aid fan. He liked the cherry a lot. All right, we're gonna put that one in there. All right, we're going to wait about five minutes on these, and then we'll be right back and see if we're going to pull these out and see if they did what they were supposed to do. All right, y'all, so it's been about five to seven minutes along the line here, so I'm going to go ahead and lift up my first egg. That was the yellow one. What does it look like? Oh, it looks yellow, right? All right, so I'm going to lay these in my little carton here to kind of help dry them off. All right, that's the yellow one right there. Let's see what's... Oh, we got the pink one here. What do y'all think? Does that look pink? All right, I'm going to lay him in here. Right there. All right, which one's next? The orange one? Oh, my goodness. Look how orange that one looks. <laughs> wow. All right, I'm going to lay him in here. Like that. All right, let's check the green one out. Oh my goodness, look how vivid that looks. Wow. That's the purple one right here. Does that look purple, y'all? <laughs> All right, let's go get the red one here. And that is the red one. All right, let's put him right here. All right, I'm gonna show you these eggs really quick. All right, so we have the red one, let's see, the red one, the green one, purple, yellow, orange, and the pink one. All right, we're going to dry these off and see how well they did. All right, y'all, do you see the colors? These are all dried and ready to go into our Easter basket. Kind of bubbled up a little bit on there, huh? Yeah, look how pretty that looks. All right, we'll put that one in there. There's my orange one from the orange Kool-Aid packet right here that we used. Oh. All right, y'all, what do y'all think? I thought that was a great idea. Kids would love to make these. Go to your store and get your Kool-Aid packets right here. All right, y'all, that was fun. Super exciting to see how these would turn out, and they turned out great. So. This came from my mom who had gotten it from, I think, Facebook. I might remember that she said that. Anyway, I used Kool-Aid packets right here, the single unsweetened kind, you know, like right there. <laughs> 25 cents each. I used two of these with three-quarter cups of water. Let the eggs sit for about five minutes in there, then took them out and let them just kind of dry for about 10 minutes. And then they were ready for the Easter basket right here. All right, y'all. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. And, y'all, I will see you on my next episode.